so we are ready to start our afternoon session and uh, the first talk is by uh, professor vukulenko on the mass cast problem with augmented data and uh, i think that uh, this talk will be delivered to you by uh, professor bilish by some uh, technical reasons okay thank you and professor bilish are you here okay uh, yes uh, oh, okay th so thank you very it. much yeah so please rakesh hi <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, so uh, uh, the situation is the following. Uh, Alexei do doesn't like to speak foreign languages. <laughs> and he asked me uh, to be a an interpreter. So it is uh, the text by Alexei Vokulenko. And uh, I just, uh, I am just uh, 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 aux auxiliary speaker, something like this. So uh, the title is uh, on the Mark Katz problem with augmented data. Uh, first of all, let, let's recall what the problem is. Let omega be a bounded plane domain and let L be its uh, Dirichlet Laplacian, uh, Laplace operator with uh, zero uh, data at the boundary. And let uh, such a Laplacian has a discrete spectrum, uh, lambda one, lambda two, uh, so on. And the problem is uh, to determine uh, uh, the shape of omega, shape of the drum in original formulation from uh, the spectrum. And uh, it is well known from uh, 1999, uh, 1994, as far as I remember, that uh, there is no uniqueness in this problem. It means that uh, it means that there exists uh, isospectral, but not isometrical, play uh, plane domains. Uh, so, uh, in principle, uh, the problem has not the unique solution. In such a situation, a reasonable additional question is uh, to complete, uh, to augment uh, the spectrum with uh, some additional data uh, to make uh, the problem uniquely solvable. And the question is, what kind of data can be uh, can be uh, can be augmented. And now I begin to uh, uh, to describe this. Uh, what is the data? What is uh, this augmented data? Uh, uh, so, in uh, as was uh, said before, let omega uh, let omega be. Ah, uh, let me start from more, much more general situation. Omega is a smooth compact permanent manifold with a smooth boundary of dimension, dimension uh, greater than uh, uh, equal or, uh, or greater than two of, uh, I would like to, to emphasize this, of arbitrary metric and topology. Then uh, there is uh, uh, relevant Laplacian on this domain, on this uh, manifold, and uh, the, Lapla uh, the Laplacian has the discrete spectrum and eigenbasis basis, and uh, there is a Fourier transform which maps the elements of uh, L2 on uh, this manifold to the series of its uh, Fourier coefficients like this and uh, this uh, Fourier transform surely uh, diagonalizes the original Laplacian it uh, transfers it to the diagonal uh, infinite diagonal matrix which acts in the space uh, in the space L2 everything is familiar everything is 
quite clear. Now, uh, uh, consider, consider the subspace of harmonic functions on the manifold. K is the subspace of L2 uh, square integrable harmonic functions uh, on the manifold. And uh, as such, this subspace is also transferred uh, by the Fourier transform to a subspace K, uh, K tilde in uh, the same uh, L2, uh, in the same L L2 small. And uh, now we set, uh, we set uh, to consider uh, this subspace as augmented data in addition to the spectrum or, uh, and uh, claim that it is the data that we, uh, that we need. It is uh, the data which, uh, uh, okay, uh, the, the main result will be formulated immediately. So uh, once again, what is the augmented data? Uh, what is the complete data? Spectrum plus some subspace in L2. And the subspace is the image of the harmonic, of the harmonic function subspace on the manifold. And the main result is the following. In a generic case, I mean, uh, a generic case for, uh, for the manifold, uh, for the manifold omega, uh, a compact smooth uh, manifold omega of arbitrary dimension, topology and metric. In a generic case, this pair determines omega up to isometry. That is the main result. So uh, if we supply, uh, this is supply the Dirichlet spectrum with uh, this subspace, it is just a subspace in, in, in L2. It, uh, has, it contains no information, a priori it, it contains no information about uh, the shape of omega, about uh, properties of omega. It is just a subspace, but the pair determines omega up to isometry. That is the result. And now let me uh, let me explain uh, motivation uh, just uh, by some one-dimensional analogy. Uh, let us consider let us consider the inverse spectral problem for inhomogeneous string at the uh, segment 0 l uh, we consider the string equation uh, spectral equation for inhomogeneous string rho is the density of the string uh, and the endpoints of the string are fixed the virtually zero condition at the endpoints uh, and uh, introduce the constants uh, uk, that's the derivatives of the eigenfunctions, and uh, the classical spectral data for inhomogeneous string, the data which uh, uh, Mark Crane uh, worked with, uh, the, the classical statement is the following. We are given we are given this uh, sequence of pairs that is spectral data, and the problem is to recover uh, the density on the segment. It's a classical problem. And now, uh, for this, uh, for this, in this case, uh, in this case, uh, what is the relevant harmonic function subspace? It is just one dimensional uh, for this uh, problem. The role of uh, the harmonic subspace uh, is played by uh, the uh, by uh, the span of uh, uh, linear function. Very simple, very simple case. And this uh, subspace is of uh, the dimension di dimension one. In the meantime, if we consider uh, the, the Fourier image, uh, if we consider spectral image of this function, then 
just by integration by parts, we have we we get the following, and it means that uh, it means that uh, the pair in one dimensional case is exactly uh, the spectrum plus Fourier coefficients of harmonic function, and uh, this beta determine uniquely uh, determine the as is well known. This data uh, determines uh, the density row uh, uniquely. And now let us consider our multidimensional analog. Uh, if we have uh, let k be as before um, the um, harmonic function subspace on the manifold, and let h1 h2 uh, H2 and so on, be a basis in this space, subspace. Then the Fourier images of this basis are the set of family of these sequences, Fourier coefficients. And uh, uh, from this point of view, to uh, to give uh, to give spectrum and this uh, subspace is uh, just to give spectrum plus uh, this um, uh, family of these sequences of Fourier coefficients. You can compare, you can prepare one dimensional case and multi-dimensional case. And uh, that makes, uh, that makes the use, the use of this uh, data more, uh, more reasonable. And the problem which we plan to solve is given this augmented data uh, to recover not omega, it is impossible in principle, but uh, to construct some isometrical copy starting with, uh, starting with uh, this data uh, to construct uh, some isometrical copy of the manifold under uh, reconstruction. That is a natural statement uh, of the problem. And uh, the problem is solved by some uh, rather, uh, uh, rather uh, complicated and uh, sophisticated construction, the so-called wave spectrum of the symmetric operator. Uh, to uh, describe it in detail is impossible in a short in a short talk, and uh, I will just uh, I will just uh, uh, describe. I just I, I plan just describe uh, uh, the main elements of this uh, construction. The construction is has uh, as 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 we shall see. Uh, the construction has a dynamical background. So let L0 be an operator in a Hilbert space, abstract Hilbert space H, such that it is closed as an operator, uh, densely defined, symmetric, positive definite, and uh, uh, its uh, uh, defect indices are uh, arbitrary from one to, uh, to infinity. And uh, by K, we denote uh, the uh, kernel of the, self of the adjoint operator. It is uh, uh, by analogy of uh, the situation at the manifold, we introduce it, it, it is analog of uh, harmonic function subspace. Okay, and let P be projection in H onto the subspace. Then let uh, L be a self-adjoint uh, extension of L0 by Friedrichs. And uh, as is well known, it has the same, uh, uh, the same uh, spectral boundary and uh, its range is complete IH. So L is extension by Friedrichs. Then uh, this object, uh, symmetric operator L, uh, 
determines uh, the uh, so-called uh, basic boundary triple uh, 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 in the following way. We introduce the boundary so-called boundary operators gamma one and gamma two via the original operator, its adjoint, and the projection. And uh, these uh, boundary operators act from uh, H, they act in H uh, onto, uh, onto the harmonic subspace. And the collection K gamma and gamma, gamma two in a, uh, is uh, said to be boundary triple of the operator L0. It is a very fashionable object in functional analysis. And uh, all, all of these in, introduced objects are related through the green formula. And that is uh, the uh, starting point of the construction of, of the wave spectrum of, of L0. And then uh, this boundary triple along with the uh, adjoint operator determine uh, the dynamical system, dynamical system with boundary control of this form. And it is a well-defined pro uh, well problem. Well-defined problem, it has a proper solution, so on, so on. And uh, uh, the wave spectrum to, to explain in detail is impossible, unfortunately, in the short. Uh, in, uh, in a short talk, uh, but uh, the, the wave spectrum, the wave spectrum of L zero is some topological space, which is constructed from trajectories of this system. Unfortunately, uh, to to, uh, to explain in more detail uh, now is impossible. So just fix this point. The operator L0 determines dynamical system. Dynamical system determines some topological space, which is called uh, the wave spectrum of the operator of the operator L0. The point is that if we start, if we take, uh, if we take, uh, if we apply these uh, abstract uh, constructions to our situation and uh, take L0 as a minimal Laplacian, uh, then the corresponding wave spectrum, at least in, in a generic case, uh, the corresponding uh, wave spectrum of minimal Laplacian is some topological space, which is uh, isometric, isometric to the manifold itself. Therefore, we can uh, we can uh, we can construct determine this uh, uh, we can determine this uh, wave spectrum uh, along this scheme. We take L zero, uh, then uh, take its uh, adjoint, construct the uh, dynamical system with boundary control. Uh, get uh, the corresponding trajectories of this system, and then uh, 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 then uh, combine uh, the trajectories uh, in some way and get uh, a topological a topological space. And uh, this space is uh, is a, is a natural solution of the CAS problem with uh, with uh, augmented. Uh, augmented data. Uh, that is uh, that is uh, very very brief very brief description, uh, which uh, not proved, but uh, at least uh, uh, at least uh, uh, supports the declaration. Uh, the main result is that. The pair, uh, the pair of objects, spectrum plus spectral object uh, uh, image of the harmonic subspace, through the construction of wave spectrum of the operator 
L0, minimal Laplacian, uh, this uh, data do determine the manifold, not just this, uh, a drum, uh, but a much more respectable object, the manifold uh, up, to, uh, up to isometry. That's the main, that's the main result. And there are some uh, there is there are some hypotheses uh, in addition to in addition to uh, this uh, result. So let us consider uh, let us consider again the case of arbitrary compact smooth manifold o omega and let L zero be the minimal Laplacian. It is determined. It is defined on the Sobolev space and has uh, zero traces of uh, functions and uh, normal derivatives as usual. L is its uh, extension by Friedrichs, which is uh, it's a self-adjoint operator uh, defined on uh, this uh, domain, uh, on this domain with Dirichlet boundary condition. L0 is so-called maximal Laplacian, which is uh, adjoined to L minimal Laplacian L0. It is determined, uh, it is determined on uh, this domain. Uh, it is defined on this domain. And let LK be the so-called uh, extension by crane or soft extension. This, uh, what, what is that? Uh, ignoring, uh, uh, skipping, uh, omitting the detail, it is also, it acts also as Laplacian on the manifold, but the domain definition, uh, the domain of definition is the following. We just take uh, the domain of definition of minimal Laplacian and uh, add uh, algebraic, algebraically, uh, the kernel of uh, adjoint, uh, adjoint Laplacian, and it is exactly the subspace of uh, harmonic of harmonic functions. This is the objects uh, which we which we are dealing with, and uh, uh, once again, L is extension by Friedrichs uh, of the minimal Laplacian, and uh, L K is the extension by crane, extension by Friedrich, extension by crane of uh, the operator L0, of the operator L0. And uh, our conjecture is the following. We conject that in a generic space, Ah, excuse me, I forget to say that uh, uh, the crane extension, soft extension, extension by crane uh, is, uh, has also discrete spectrum, has also discrete spectrum. Uh, and uh, so we can operate with uh, Dirichlet spectrum plus spectrum of, uh, the crane of the crane extension. And our conjecture, our hypothesis, is that uh, is that this pair of spectra, this pair of spectra, uh, does determine uh, omega up to isometry. Uh, so our hope is that uh, uh, this spectrum may uh, substitute uh, may substitute. Uh, the setting of uh, subspace. It, it, sure, this augmented data look more natural, but uh, the question whether the question on uh, the uh, valid validity of this uh, hypothesis is sure open. In uh, the next talk, uh, something uh, about uh, this conjecture also will be uh, will be set and will be commented and uh, that's all thank you for your uh, attention ah excuse me uh, 
the detail uh, the detail concerning to uh, concerning to the wave spectrum uh, may be found in uh, the, uh, for instance uh, in uh, this um, uh, in this uh, in this article in mathematical sbornik mathematical sbornik uh, as, as far as I remember uh, which was uh, published in uh, in in 21 maybe something like this thank you for your attention okay let us thank professor Bishop for the interesting talk and uh... Any questions or uh, comments? Yes, the... may, may I ask a question, uh, uh, Kabanikin? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for a very interesting and impressive uh, chain of uh, talks in this symposium concerning boundary control and its uh, function analysis background. Very interesting. And my question is, uh, I think uh, half of uh, activities of Mark Crane in this kind of uh, inverse problems was the description of existence of the solution. And uh, you know his results and so in one dimensional. And are there any uh, ideas or hope to say something about conditions of existence of this isometrical? family or some shape existence question what what can i what can i say uh, first of all uh, i don't uh, i don't know whether there is a characterization of uh, dirichlet spectrum it is uh, it is open question in principle mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, are, never, are there any ideas or uh, some approaches in mind? Uh, maybe? Look, uh, yes, Sergey. Uh, the situation is the following. In principle, the boundary control method uh, provides uh, some characterization of data, yeah. but uh, uh, the characterization, and it is typical for multidimensional for multi-dimensional problems, inverse problems, the characterization is rather complicated yeah. and explicit. For instance, uh, sigma L, uh, sigma L must be such that if you comp if you uh, compose the dynamical system, then the system turns out. Uh, 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 then the system has to to have some uh, additional properties, something yeah. like this. It is not efficient to get some simple. Uh, in my uh, in my opinion, uh, mm -hmm. to get uh, to get some. Uh, simple efficient um, description characterization of data of this sort is yeah. uh, is impossible in principle it, it's my belief i see thank you uh, it's because it's, the question is very uh, important but uh, very very hard i i understand right 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 right, right. but in spectral maybe some asymptotic uh, of uh, multi-dimensional spectrum uh, there so, is a lot of there is a lot of uh, uh, of necessary conditions a lot of necessary conditions for instance veil asymptotics of the spectrum yeah. yes some, some kind of some kind of uh, relations between eigenvalues uh, mm -hmm. some uh, restrictions on the multiplicity of eigenvalues so 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 on but it is very far from sufficient conditions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i see yeah Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments? Можно, можно по-русски, да? Валяй. Да, я хотел спросить, вот омега здесь, значит, это ограниченная область? Нет, нет, здесь замах побольше. Что такое омега? Омега – это компактная, гладкая, 
Римоново многообразие с гладким ага. краем, с гладким краем, угу. произвольной угу. размерности и произвольной топологии. Оно может быть даже не ага. ориентировано, например. Ага. Ага. Ну, то есть оно с краем, и поэтому там есть минимальный оператор, так сказать, обращающийся. Да, да, ну, все там, это добро там. Да, как в обычной области, и, соответственно, есть крайний критик. Так сказать. Да. Это да. вопрос, все-таки это чистый вопрос или вопрос потенциала? Сейчас еще разок вопрос, что про потенциал? Оператор, вот спектр L, это да. вопрос с потенциалом или чистый вопрос? Ну, здесь, здесь чистый Лаплас. Здесь Шрёдингер, понятно. Но... Лаплас, извиняюсь. Да, здесь чистый, чистый Лаплас, но ничего не надо менять, чтобы восстановить вот это многообразие со всеми потрохами вместе с потенциалом. То есть для Шрёдингера да. это тоже прокатывает. Ну, с потенциалом, ну ладно. Я ага. думаю, с потенциалом это значительно сложнее. Ну ладно. Я... Нет, 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 нет. Все, нет, все да. работает и в случае с потенциалом. Ну, имеется в виду, что потенциал задан. В смысле, что? Нет. То есть восстанавливать. Восстанавливаешь многообразие геометрию. вместе с потенциалом. Да, ну, и геометрию так, и потенциал. Как, как по спектральным данным? Вот, по спектральным данным bc методом восстанавливается mm -hmm. многообразие вместе с потенциалом. Да. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the Rakesh, first case. You, you mean uh, to substitute sigma L but by Neumann spectrum or what? No, not sigma L, the other one. Uh, the If you go to the first page, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, uh, I hope that uh, I understand you correctly. Uh, look, uh, there exist counter examples to the following hypothesis. In one dimensional case, As is well known, if you deal with uh, Sturm Liouville uh, Schrodinger operator at the interval, yes, then uh, uh, it suffices to give two spectra, two spectra uh, corresponding to different uh, boundary conditions, right, to, to determine uh, the potential uniquely. It's well known. Uh, fact, uh, very old, well-known fact, to re to, uh, reconstruction of the potential, determination of potential via two spectra, two, two spectra corresponding to different, uh, to different boundary conditions. As to multidimensional case, if you deal with drum, then there exist, there exist very impressive counterexamples of two domains, which have the same Dirichlet spectrum, the same Because Neumann spectrum. Because something different, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, huh? If you go to the first page of the slide, the first page on the... Откройте, пожалуйста, первую страницу, Михаил Игоревич. Ага, ага. Maybe uh, I begin to explain uh, what uh, Rakesh doesn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so wait a go... moment, wait a moment, yes, yes. yes. Sure. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. So your explanation is very interesting. Count example. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, right there. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, your data are the spectrum and the uh, and the Fourier coefficients of the harmonic functions, correct? Uh, uh... Uh, That's what your this, data uh, is. In this statement, yes, we have spect the spectrum and right. the coefficients, Fourier coefficients of harmonic functions for complete system of harmonic functions. Yes. Right. Isn't that the same thing as knowing the normal derivatives of the eigenfunctions on the boundary? Just by the green what, what, I understand the origin of the question. Uh, you are you are trying to compare it with the classical uh, uh, 
uh, with classical spectral data, right? Right. But but to give uh, classical spectral data, you need boundary, right? I see. You need I boundary. See. But okay. here you don't need boundary. Moreover, uh, the problem is to re to recover to determine the boundary. I see. Okay. That's the difference. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And that, just uh, I'm sure you know this. So one knows that one cannot recover the domain omega from the spectrum, but it's an open question whether you the, whether a convex domain can be recovered or not. There is a lot of uh, there are a lot of results of this kind. As far as I know, if you deal with uh, the convex drum with analytic boundary, yeah, then yeah. Uh, the spectrum does determine it uniquely. Correct. But nevertheless, uh, some uh, counter examples does uh, do exist. You see. But, but not for convex domains. All all known examples uh, concern to uh, concern to the domains with non-smooth boundaries. Yes. No, but they are also not convex. They they also are not convex, right? Right. Okay. Okay. So. Вопрос. А бублик можно услышать? Нет, а. бублик нельзя услышать. Вот по таким вот. Нет, Нет ну, да? Там началось то все с того, что сейчас какой-то восьмимерный, по-моему, бублик, то как раз в самом первом в самом первом случае фигурировал там какие-то вот в какой-то высокой размерности бублики, они оказались не не этими самыми не не изометричными, но имели сконструированы были с одним и тем же спектром, вот что-то такое mm -hmm. было. Mm -hmm. Спасибо. Mm -hmm. Okay, if no more questions, then we immediately pass to the 